concept here is we've just taken an attachment and made it engine driven so that there is no dependency on the loader whatsoever. There's no electrical dependency and no hydraulic dependency on this loader. Okay, it's, it's got a quick attach mount or a pin on mount depending on your loader. Uh, this particular unit is 140 horsepower. It drives a hydraulic clutch into a set of belts that are coupled to a planetary gear set inside the drum. So we're stepping down the engine speed from about 2400 RPM to about 105. And all milling machines run in that 105, 120 RPM range. So uh, that's, our, that's our range with that. This particular unit has a 40 inch wide drum. We do go up to 72 inches in width and up to 200 horsepower. These are standard Sandvik teeth. They're off the shelf. It's extremely common commodity product. There's nothing new here at all as far as our, what we developed. Um, you basically want to make sure these teeth are turning at all times and that water helps on the drum. Uh, to replace them, we have a port tool here. You can pull that tooth out that way. You, there's a punch and you can punch it out from the, from the back side. Um, We've got, uh, as I said, a planetary gearbox inside the drum that drives this thing at about 105 RPM. We always want to run water on it. It helps a lot to keep the material out between the tooth and the holder. So the center teeth are going to wear a lot better. And what a lot of guys will do is take out the side teeth that are worn and they'll pull the tooth from the center and put it in the side and then put the new teeth in the center. As far as tooth life goes, it, it, it's very dependent on age of the asphalt, the density of the asphalt, the type of aggregate that was used in the mix, and also the ambient temperature. If you're out here at five below milling, it might happen. You know, it's going to be one production number. If you're out here and it's 95 and the pavement is 110 degrees, then that's going to help make that asphalt softer and you're going to get better wear out of the teeth. Okay. Uh, all of our wheel loader mount units go to a depth of 12 inches, and they can do that in one pass. Okay, so if you've got utility work, and you're trying to lay a pipe down the middle of the road, it will do that. The nice thing about that is you're making two saw cut edges simultaneously, but you're also milling up that material on site. And typically, you can use that material for backfill. And I've had contractors tell me that they're saving a, a buck a foot, a dollar a foot in, in stone cost because they can use this recycled material. So that's a significant cost savings. It's also much faster than saw cutting. Saw cutting is running about a buck thirty a foot, I think, nationwide. So it, it's very much faster and very much cheaper than saw cutting. Um, the other market, of course, is what you're doing here, which is what we call mill and fill, shallow depth milling, two inches or less leaving the base in place and then just coming over with a two-inch coat. Uh, the third market is out in the rural areas of the country where we're reclaiming the rock from the road base. Uh, I had a county in Kansas that was spending $400,000 a year in stone and it was going straight down and with this they can go down 12 inches and reclaim it and uh, they spent about a hundred thousand on this machine, so they're going to realize the cost savings almost immediately. Okay. Um, as far as the controllability, it's quite easy. You can run uh, the tilt, dip, and side shift functions from the, the master panel here, as well as stop and start the engine, engage and disengage the clutch, all from right here. Okay. Um, the nice thing about this unit, another feature, is this wireless remote. You can do everything here that you can do from the master panel. So I can start and stop the engine, I can engage and disengage the drum, and I can adjust my drum, whether it's side shift from center to operator's right 30 inches, adjust my slope plus or minus 5 degrees so I can make a magic crown in a road, and of course my depth infinite from 0 to 12 inches. 